Body, good to be here. Good you know, job with us. Know, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going we're gonna to talk about a little bit tonight, because we hear about all this in the news and on the media, about bail reform all across the country and how it's causing all sorts of criminal crimes to be committed and more criminals on the streets and judges have no discretion. But, you know, we're going to talk about with New York, bail reform, the minority communities, what goes on and what we could do to actually get to the households before we even need to get to bail reform. You know, this problem's going on in some of these communities that we could stop the kids from even getting to the point where they need bail. That's what we need to start addressing. Bail reform, to me, is just an excuse that the Democrats or whoever liberals really need to do to um, you know, try to appease some of their voting bloc. What do we need to do in some of these communities to stop these kids from even getting to the court system? Right. Like, to, okay, right. what do we do? What uh, do we need to do to stop the kids from even getting into the court system where they right. need bail? Well, there's a lack of opportunity. You know, the opportunity but doesn't... we've been saying this for how many years? Well, the opportunity hasn't years. increased. We, we can keep years. saying it, but until the opportunity increases, saying, it's going to be I the same you, problem. I sent you um, an interview last week. You know, right. I saw Denzel Washington on an interview. Right. And they said something about, is the system working? And, and is the system the problem? And what did Denzel say? Do you remember what, I, what it said? Well, he said... Um, he why, said the, why is little Danny shooting Johnny? It okay, starts the, at home. He said the problem is not the system <laughs> right. because a seven-year-old is not in the system yet. Yeah. An 11-year-old is not in the system yet. Where's right. daddy? And, and he said, well, daddy's in jail. Well, where was his daddy? You saw Denzel's right. interview. I'm not, I'm, right. not, I'm not taking words. And right. we have two you know, guests tonight. We have Roy Blocker, Leroy Blocker, Alex Rodriguez, both you know, gentlemen I know for a long time, Link knows as well, and they right. both work in the bail bond industry. And you know, they come across a lot of these, you know, people that need bail and are in situations and they're desperate to come up with the money. You know, Alex, introduce yourself. My name is Alexis Rodriguez. Um, where, where'd you grow up, Alex? Central Islip. Okay. My guy. Story, and Story, Story's a nickname for Roy. Story? Yes, sir. Story man. Story My man. My name is Leroy Blocker. I'm from Central Islip, but currently live in the Coral. Okay. okay. And you, you guys, you both worked in the system. You both know a lot about bail and how bail's posted, right? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. And then when some of these families come in and, and a crime's committed, and you know, the judge sets you know a hundred thousand dollars cash, two hundred thousand dollar bond, or that the person's going to sit in jail. You know the devastation it takes in his family, right? Yes. Absolutely. Okay, they, they're taking money that should go for it, <laughs> paying the mortgage, putting heat in the house, putting food on the table, and they got to bail out whoever their loved one is, right? right? Yes. And it's a struggle. What do we need to do to get to the point where that person doesn't even end up in the jail cell? That's the problem. That's what we need to fix. That's what society and politics need to address is what's going wrong that that person's got to be out there on the street link doing whatever right. they're doing to get to the court system. Well, We're not going to stop crime, period. Let's, let's just say, the, let's take what Denzel said about it starts at home, right? It starts um, at, we've had this conversation how right, many times. But you do, you do have a, <clears throat> still a system that's hell-bent on breaking up that family environment, breaking up that, that family thing. So we could say it starts at home, and, and I, not that I disagree with that, because it's, it's too true to, to disagree with. It's, it's it too starts honest at home. A statement. It does start at it home. It does start at home, but... That home is not the only influence on the children, you know. Like that, that there's a major no. influence. Listen, you can, the you can schools, say. the schools are an influence on because your children, right. our children, right. spend more time in school than they do at home with us. Right. Your kids getting home what five or six o'clock at night now? Kids, the yeah, long about days four school. o'clock. Yeah. yeah. Okay, they're going time. to bed at eight, yeah. getting up in the morning, seven o'clock. They're back on the bus going to school. Right. So the schools, and we talk, you know, what are the schools putting in these children's minds or not putting in their minds? Because right. we, we talked about a child goes into school, it's a sponge. Mm -hmm. It's going to absorb what you give it. Everything they see. Okay, so is the school giving them the right tools to go out in society and succeed? And no. more so in the minority no. communities, because that's where the problem is. Like, <laughs> let's, let's, let's say this, and y'all can stop me if y'all disagree, but you send your kid to school for minimum 12 years, right? Yeah, From first grade to, to graduation. Yep. All right, they leave school still in need of more education. Why are you leaving school in need of it, more, in, still in need of an education? Like um, for ninth to twelfth grade, which would be our, well, that would be considered our high school years. Why isn't there some kind of like uh, vocational things put in place where they can learn roofing, they can learn carpeting, they can learn uh, electrician, plumbing, these things, so they can leave there, have an LLC, begin their own business? Why is it that when you leave high school, it's pick a college? Well, that's what I was going to say. They need to structure more programs. Yeah, it, it's, it's got to be structured it's, and. Um, that's just to say, because um, in your capacity, when when you was doing bell bonds, you was hot smoky. I want I want to say that right. Your name was ringing Thank crazy. Um, still does. Yeah, yeah. His name, his name let's still give ring. story credit. You know, story 
is from the streets. He ran the streets. Right. So right, anybody right. needed bail, boom. They, they immediately call him. And then Alex came to the picture, and then like, story right. story faded away. I got to give honest story I mean, faded away. I mean, for, yeah. for me, for me, for me, without without my mentor, who's not with the company no more at all. Right. I'm I'm lucky for what I have. Yeah. And Andrew Pupo, he showed me everything. And um, yeah. without him, I wouldn't know Bobby. Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. know Yo, these lawyers. Wait, wait. Like I know them or these Listen, judges. When to, Bobby sent me get, a picture of you, I didn't know what he was sending me the picture of you for. I'm like, damn, is he in trouble? That's my guy. Let me get I didn't know that I had no idea. Let, let me give you a little, little history down here. Yeah. Back, I'd say about t- maybe 10, 15 years ago, bail right. bonds were really not much of a play in Suffolk County. If you didn't have the cash, you didn't get out of bail. You didn't get out of jail. So it was basically cash only. Absolutely. The judge right. said cash, and that was it. You didn't have the cash, you sat in jail. That's it. Bonds becoming more and more popular over the last 10, 15 years. Right. Not nah, when you grew up, you know, no, there was no bonds posted. You had the cash, or you stayed in jail, right? You got, you got locked up on the weekend. You had a set you know how it goes, man. Yeah. You know and, then, go. and then it became, you know, <laughs> bail bonds become more popular, what, you know, which was a good thing because people weren't sitting in jail while their case was getting solved. You weren't sitting up six, eight months a year sometimes right. before your case got disposed. Link, you, you had to sit up sometimes before you had to post the bail? I, listen, uh, um, a lot of times I had uh, bells that bonds that were bells that were astronomical and, and uh, they would help me out of it. But you know b- what I mean? for the bail bondsman, oh, I was it. Cash. You got to sit in jail. Yeah, sit you don't up. have the money. You sit there. That's Correct. It. Yeah. And then and then it was actually exciting times. You go back yeah. to like maybe 2010, 11, 12. Yeah. It was like the bail bonds was down in D eleven. Yeah. <laughs> we would get down there. You had yeah. you had you know this team down there, this team down there, and right. it was like I used to walk in like. It was like a war zone, right? Fighting right. for the business. It was. It was, it was actually fun. It was actually fun. Yeah. And I'm gonna give give a shout out to my my two favorite bail bonds companies. We got affordable bail bonds here yes. and Empire Bail Bonds. Wendy right. Love, we love you. We love um, you, Wendy. So th- those two companies <laughs> are, are the main companies out here. You need bail. You got to go to one of those companies. Right. Right. Um, and. And again, I don't take preference. You know, people are going to go to their own people. I don't try to get involved. Some families deal with you know affordable. Some families deal with Empire. Right. That's who we deal with. But it was like a war down there. It really was. Yeah. And it got it got. To, and then bail reform came in, and it almost put the bail bonds out, out of business. Yeah. yeah. What it did, it took the discretion away from the judges, and this, the legislature put down what crimes could bails can be set on, and what crimes bail could not be set it's on. Ridiculous. Right. And, and just really to, just to, to really get into it, um, let's we'll start with you, Alex. You know, it's, it's what really, difference? What difference have you noticed since bail reform inside the uh, bail bondsman office? Crimes went up. They 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 implemented this for crime to go down, and it hasn't at all. You know, you're releasing people on so many things that, in all reality, you shouldn't be releasing them. And right. and for me, it, it's kind of disturbing when you grow up in a certain area and you have to worry about your safety more than anything. Right. And not to know? try and convict this guy on the air, but did y'all see on Channel Twelve was a chiropractor? Operating out of, uh, I want to say Kings Park area. No, I, I think I think it was Holbrook area. Holbrook area. Yeah, I think the Holbrook he's, area. He's touching people, right? Like uh, involuntarily. I, I don't know what the, the actual charge is called, but it's like basically you touching someone in a sexual place. They know no square, right? And you're not supposed, you're not supposed yeah. to be doing that. Um, he got out, no bell, no nothing. He just, he just went home, like. Well, links, you know. Certain crimes, right. depending on the, the crime, certain yeah. crimes, the court, the judges doesn't have discretion to set bail. As so much as they want to set as bail. As much as they want to. Um, but to know that that's a good thing in some sense because practicing criminal defense for right. 30 years, a lot of times it seemed to me they were setting, setting the bail almost like, almost like a sentence, like whether or not they're going to come back to court. It should be whether or not you're going to return for your court date. Absolutely. Right. Not right. preventative detention. Right. Not because the crime is serious, and you don't want to piss off Newsday, or you don't want right. to, you know the DAS for yeah. this. You know that's not why bail should be set, Roy. Bail should be set. Are you going to come back to court? Right. right. And if you come back to court, that's all you're supposed to do until you're sentenced. You're not convicted of anything. Yeah. This yeah. this country, thank God, innocent until proven Proving guilty. guilty. That don't right. set bail like the guy's guilty already. Yeah. Right. That was the benefiting mm-hmm. part of having bail and bond, but now you have supervised release. And to be honest. It, it's kind of hard for people to have ankle bracelets to go get a job or do things because they're constantly monitored. You know, mm-hmm. it's like they're on pre-probation to get back on probation. Yeah, that, it, that exactly. to me, honestly, doesn't like, serve a purpose. It's almost, right. like, it's almost like the DA's office or the courts, the CYA, because I'm not going to just ROI this guy because if he goes out, God forbid, and does something else, the Newsday or the going to blow up on me. Oh, you let him out with no bail. Okay, yeah. quick question. Um, how do you know? How how is it determined which people are going to get an ankle brace? It determines. There oh. there are there are, you have, ROR which is straight out no bail at all. Right. You have supervised release which you have to check in with the probation department, and then you have supervised release with GPS. Uh, so the court can set those conditions. Right. So you're being supervised and monitored. Correct. Right. And then the GPS obviously you know tracks where you are and right. and then also the judge could also set 
curfews, as you guys both know. Yeah. The judge can say, I want you home by 7 o'clock at night. And, you know, a lot of times the court will ask, are you working? You have a job? They're not, not trying to restrict you. But if you're not working right? Yeah, and you, you have no legitimate reason to be out, the judge is going to say, then be home by 7 o'clock. There's no reason not to be home. Wow. Mm-hmm. Either out, you know, that, that's otherwise you're hanging out in front of the, Before the conviction? They, they, before the conviction. It's a conviction wow. of your bail. Yeah. Where, where's, the, where's your rights then, if that's the case? Well, your rights are linked. You're not sitting in Riverhead or Yapang waiting for, you, waiting for your case to be mm-hmm. disposed of. I, I, guess, I guess that's a bonus, but like now, without a conviction, without even having proven, been proven that, you, that you've done these things. I, I, I do, in a sense, agree right. with you. This is all new within the last couple of years, so it really yeah. hasn't been litigated that far yet. Right. It, is, uh, it is part of a problem. But my, yeah. my issue, my, what I want to talk about tonight is, what do we need to do to get into the heart of these households, these neighborhoods, to stop these kids and these adults from even coming into the system to have bail set? Respect. What's, what's lacking? The role Respect. models we talk about. You guys, listen. I'm not here to disparage everybody. We all know right. what neighborhood you grew up. Link, you uh, had your, yeah. You, you know what? What's lacking in these households? Role models or their opportunities? What do we need to do that we could stop kids and adults from coming into the system where bail is time to be set? Right, right. Hang on. Let me turn you guys' mics on. I think it's respect. If you really ask me, when you. Alex, when you say respect, what do you what do you mean? I mean, now you have you give children a, vo- a voice, more of a voice instead of them respecting their parents or the adults. They're able to argue with them, and if they don't agree with what the parents saying, right, they can sit here and call the cops over any little thing to have their parents charged with abuse or something down the lines of that. And in my day, you know, you respect your parents. You have to. You when you shake somebody's hand, you look at them in their face. You don't sit down and shake somebody's hand. Yes, you stand sir. up. Well, that's that's what Denzel was saying. This is this starts in the household. This starts in the household. It does from you know we, we talked about even with racism. You know, a two, right. three, and four year old kids in nursery school don't know black, white, and Spanish. They Those don't. little kids are gonna play together. It's when you become older. I want to go to my black friend's house. I want to go to my Spanish friend's house. We we. That's taught in the household. Somewhere. Even some yeah, teachers in school, true. you know, back in the day, teachers knew how to talk to students, knew how to talk to kids and can sit there and tell them, I know what it is to grow up in your shoes or to be just like you. Not, and it's not necessarily always about color because it's not because there, there are white kids that grow up exactly the same. Correct. Right. It's not always about color. And, and, and for me, being somebody Hispanic, I get tired of hearing that sometimes because Respect doesn't come in color. No, no, no. Respect. Yeah. It doesn't. Yeah, I like, I like the way you put that. You know, it, right. it doesn't at all. Respect. It has nothing to do with it. You yeah. know, I could not know somebody from a hole in the wall, but I'm going to give you the same respect you give me. You could be a nobody to me. But in Everybody today's day and age. The same. Yeah, in today's day and age, you have kids selling people, you know, coming out of their mouth for no reason. When well, somebody's mm-hmm. just giving them directions. Well, look, look. Right. Alex, look what they're trying to do in our schools. They want, instead of teaching the things you're talking about, respect and and manners they want to teach a kindergartner if you're a girl it's okay if you want to become a boy it's not yeah. right yeah <laughs> it's not right not right, right. right. You know, yeah. what do you, i think we need more programs involved with our kids these days like what do you mean when you say more programs like what like after school programs more caring people involved in the system because nowadays you got people that don't care and that's the problem and 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 the, and the kids witnessing it now. right they right. see it you got babysitters beating on little kids yeah pushing them around yeah you got the teachers in there. They're not teaching anything to these kids. No, it's a job. So, it's a job to these teachers. They want to get, yeah, get the 30 they years. For the money. But, and again, right. I'm not bashing teachers like we don't bash cops. Right. It's a difficult job, and there are, most are there for the good purposes. You become a teacher. It's a lot of patience, and it is a lot. Yeah, it is. But, but what I, what I, Link and I have talked about this, and Link's actually doing this in Wind Edge. You need people that are from those communities that have gone on and become successful to go back in and mentor these kids, whether it's in the high Absolutely. school. Absolutely. And, and you know you need to have that link. We, right. That's the only because way these children are going to see. There's a pathway out of what I what I'm seeing. And, and they, they, these kids need to see some form of uh, economy in their own neighborhood. Like right. everybody that has a, a business in our neighborhood, they take the money and leave when they go home right. because the people that own the businesses in our neighborhood don't live in our neighborhoods. And mm-hmm. so that's another thing that we don't get to see the entrepreneur entrepreneurism from people who look like us, right? Like correct because the Chinese people. You're yeah. going to go in there, you're going to spend your money, they're going to take your money to their neighborhood. Chinese you food got, store, right? Right. And you got the, uh, the, the yeah. Arabs. You know, I don't want to call them any specific name, and I'm not trying to be like disrespectful but that, but to that any they keep it in their community, Muslim nation. You know? But they take that money back to their community. Back to their community. Um, and it, well, this is just the eateries. That has nothing to do with the laundromats and, and other, other businesses. Food stores, the right, delis. That make money off of us and off of the community who don't put the money back into the community. And so at this point, I think there should be a push to get those businesses out and replace those businesses with people who are from their community. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because need, you know, we need more courses showing kids how to keep things. Like parents 
over time they do Classes. inherit houses and stuff like right, that, but they right. don't know how to. They don't teach the kids the fundamentals of keeping that stuff. Yeah, you so know we need the schooling to teach kids how to keep things like that, but they credit, maintain their credit, uh, how to use R R A's stuff like right. that, and, and I, go after money. And, and Roy, I, I agree. Lincoln and I have talked about this, and what has to happen. It, the parents in these communities need to get involved in th- at the lowest level of politics at the school board Absolutely. and be involved with what's going on in schools. Until COVID happened, most parents had no idea what was being taught in the schools. Right. Until your kid came That's home true. with a laptop, signed on virtually, and you're sitting there and saying, this is what you're learning? I don't agree with the laptops or the tablets or anything because you see a lot of, now in today's day and age, kids go out to restaurants and using a tablet. It's I'm too very, much. I'm very yeah. adamant. My daughter doesn't do that because... You have to be able to converse with us, talk to us, have a conversation because we're in the real world. In the real world, you don't use tablets. You do at work and things like that. But if you're walking amongst each other, you're there to talk. You're there to walk amongst each other. And Nothing's like better that. than personal contact and personal right, relationships. Right. Communication no. is key. And to, Communication and is to key. touch on what Link was saying with, I don't these, know. with these. Story, my wife keeps telling me that too. I don't know. <laughs> I understand it when and, it comes to that. And to, to just touch on what, um, what Link said with entrepreneurship and, and people giving back to the community, I respect the people that are from our communities like a friend of mine has a barbershop Stay Faded right down Suffolk Avenue hey shout out to Stay Faded you know and and for me I see something big that somebody that that has a little spot that's always giving back to his community no matter if they're Spanish white or black or Indian or whatever the case may be they're always there to give back because we know what it is to grow up on our side of the street correct and I always tell them south of the train tracks in Central Islip is a whole different world from the north side North of the tracks. It's, it's, right. well, it's the it's same thing in the dance, right? Yeah, yeah same thing. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, that's that's definitely. I think I think the tracks. If you have a set of railroad tracks in your neighborhood, that's automatically going to decide. Is the good like, side divide. and the bad side? Yeah, it's yeah. going to divide the mm-hmm. people from this side because you could be from the east side of the tracks, west side, north side, or south side. But that divi- that those tracks in every community from from New York to LA is always the division line. Right, it is always the good always. to the bad. Yeah. you know, and, yeah. and and that's just what it is. But. Like yeah. Bobby said, we have to give back to our community and be these role models for these kids, yeah. for them to understand that there's a different direction, that you don't always have to follow these people that you think are good role models. Cause well, we, we talked about that. Why are the role models, you know, the guy with the with the rims on the car or the jewelry right. on, why is that the role model? The, What's going on in the households at the young level that they're looking up to that as opposed to, like you said, the train engineer or the cop yeah, or the right. fireman? The real models are not looked up to no more. It's the, the people who are getting it fast. That just want right. to say, oh, right. do this. And nobody wants to work for it. They Go don't want to work. Right. But take it from right. me. It doesn't last. The people that get it fast usually end up dead or in jail. And, that, and, and I'm doing this a long enough time. they willing to risk that, these kids, and the, though. And the touch, why, right. The answer is, why are they willing to risk that instead of take you know, the, the because, little longer because, road and get to the satisfying place because that's going to last? Because it's, it's, it's the, how can I say, it's the... The real, mo- the real role models are gone because back in our days, the, the real ones that was out doing dirt and everything, dead. they didn't allow us to do the same thing as them. They that's would right. force us that's to school. Real. They'll force us off the block. They'll force us to respect our parents. And you know what? Not for nothing, if we will be in disrespect in front of them, they'll pop us and send us home. And that's our right. parents wouldn't tell them nothing because right. they knew that they expected respect anywhere we went, you know? Mm-hmm. We're a product of our environment, but we're a representation of our household as well. I like that. You know, exactly. it make, I, like I, don't, that. I don't remember the exact, yeah. but we had, a few weeks ago, we had the DA, Ray Tierney on, and right. so we talked about, you know, guns, and yeah. he, what do he say, like nine, 90 something percent of the guns come from 1% of the neighborhoods? Like, yeah, well, yeah. I forgot yeah. the stat. It was a... Uh, 90% of gun crimes happen in 10% 1% of the, of the population. Exactly. It's, 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 between, it's divided between non-neighborhoods, but it's still only 1% of the population, even if you total all non-neighborhoods. Yeah. So, so that, yeah. that's a pretty thing. And they have, that's a pretty high statistic. So crime is really in the minority communities for a reason, because there's a lack of opportunity. Lack, well, something's going on. Right. And a lot of money, politically, a let's, lot let's of money. Let's not. Let me finish. Yeah. A lot of money has been pumped into these neighborhoods, whether right. it's being utilized or not. That's the question. Okay. Now, we can, we can say, all right, well, we sent the money. Our job is done. Or we can say, well, we need to send the money with oversight because we know when you send, when you send uh, food to a starving country, the, the people are going to try and, and, and own it and, and distribute it their way, not the way you intended it when you started it. So if you send money through one inch and you send it without oversight, um, it's the same thing that's been happening to one. This money going to keep happening. Link, hold that thought. We're yes, going to be sir. back in a few short seconds. This is Street Legal. We're here every Tuesday night on 103.9 LI News Radio. This is Bob Macedonio. My firm name, Macedonio and Duncan, 126 Carlton Avenue, ISIP Terrace, 631 582 3232. And remember, you want to get free, you better call BOB. Better call BOB. Bye-bye. 
Like, this segment, again, is brought to you by Lexus of Smithtown, 700 Middle Country Road in St. James, New York. If you are looking for a new or pre-owned Lexus, visit my friends at Lexus of Smithtown. Roy, you have a Lexus, no? No, Affinity. Yeah. Alex, Lexus is a Lexus, wonderful car, though. Lexus is a wonderful car. They run car. real good, smooth. Okay, well, Lexus of Smithtown. If you're looking for a Lexus, you got to yeah. go to Lexus of Smithtown. That's, that's, where my, that's where my cousin right. goes. He has all his Lexuses from Lexus on Middle Country Road. That's, that's Middle Country Road in Smithtown. His favorite's a GS. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite Lexus. Yeah, but back in the days, he's, uh, he's actually back in the day that GS yeah. three hundred was a car, right? Yeah, my, my boy, my boy liked them. He liked them SCs, though. No, you know, you know, not like them SCs. Who likes the SCs? I like the LS. The LS? Yeah. No, nah, I like the GS. Smooth. Yeah, I like I, I like the SCs. Them, I like the story. Do you have twenty twos on yours? I had all of them. <laughs> my cousin, my cousin that got me this job is um the Lexus man. I bet you didn't get the you didn't, you didn't get the. <laughs> You didn't get the rims from Tweet, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Tweet out there. All right, let's Shout get back. Out. We're talking. We're talking bail, bail reform, <laughs> and um, <laughs> you know, let's take people through the steps here. Your loved one, a family member, a friend, whoever it may be, uh, you know, whoever that you got to get. You get that call from jail. Right. I need you to bail me out. Okay. Now the bail is let's say fifty thousand dollars cash, hundred thousand dollar bond. Now, gentlemen, explain to the public that doesn't generalize generally deal with the court system. What do you need to post a hundred thousand dollar bond? Now, now, and now this is all set by state laws. There's no difference what bail company you go to, Empire or Affordable. It's going to be the same. Let me say one thing before you speak on it. Yes, I'm going to let Alex speak on it because he's still in it, and I'm and not. Just for those that, for out there, Alex is a licensed bail bondsman. That's correct and, um, for affordable bills. Correct. Yeah, Alex. Um, there's two ways that this can go about. Um, you know, the DA set bail sources, so. Our fees are set by the state. They don't change anything. Correct. So for a hundred thousand dollar bail, the fee will be six thousand two sixty. That's set by state statute, right. but so that doesn't vary from that of what company you go to. Doesn't change anywhere now, you go. You're going to need collateral to support that hundred thousand dollar bond, Absolutely. separate and apart from the bail bond state. So ensure, to ensure that the person's going to make all their court appearances. Now, effectively, what's happening for so the public understands the bail bonds is buying is an insurance policy. They're t- selling the court insurance policy that if you don't come back to court. They got to pay that court a hundred thousand dollars. Absolutely. So they want some backup collateral that if, if God forbid the person doesn't come back to court, they're gonna have to support that hundred thousand dollars they exactly. have to come up with. That's correct. Right. And it's more secure that way because people do appear to court and they do what they need to do because if Link put collateral down for me, I'm gonna ensure that I do right by Link because he's looking out for me. Yeah. And then sometimes people can go in and say, I don't want to have that person on the streets. I'm gonna pull that collateral. Exactly. And in and, and times like that, our company, we work with them. We just don't, it's not like before. Now we reach out to our clients and let them know to bring somebody else with other collateral because sometimes some people, they just wanna get you out. And once they get you out, they wanna get their name right. off. You know, and, and it's just and, the way and it works. sometimes people have you know drug problems, other issues going on, but you don't want them out. You you're not responsible for them Absolutely. because they're not t- doing what they're supposed to do, not showing up in court, going out doing. But we work thing. with people too that you know we, we work with this lady named Elsie Demers, and she puts people into facilities to get help and Correct. things like that that support us. You know, my right. partner George Dunk and I do a lot of that too. If we if a person's out, we make a, a wholehearted effort to get them the help they need because just fixing the court case is not fixing the problem. Right. Um, they need well, treatment. They need. They need therapists. They need. This, this, to this is my thing too. I, outside of you know, and this is not to come at you because you, yeah, you you work absolutely. for a bondsman. This you're not a bonding company. Um, the question is more for Wendy. I wish she was here. But um, Wendy Love. Right. What What do you think the a, a bonds company, a, a bell bonds company, would owe the neighborhood that it's in? Right. Like it can see literally the people inside of the neighborhood that are in trouble. Right. It can see the need for some kind of interception to keep these people from getting in trouble. What do you think, if any, should be a role at the Bell Bondsman play in, in the community where they see like the people they serve and are already underprivileged? I can Her- speak on her behalf on that. I've seen her do things for the community. You got to speak it to the mic. Yeah, I, said, I can speak on her behalf. We're well, speaking on, on whose behalf? Miss Wendy Flores. OK, OK. So shout she, out to Wendy Flores. She put money back in the community. Certain things came up. Right. Like a book bag event or something like that to get back to the kids. She did. Well, like, I think I think we okay. all do that. You yeah. know, my, my part of my firm and you know even Lincoln right. Nine Street Legal, we, yeah. we right. give back as much as we can. We do a lot of pro bono work, and I and I know yeah, Wendy. And I know talking, also for we're it. talking but, crime prevention. But, we're not talking about like throw a couple dollars well, here. And that's no, no, not the shame, Wendy. But you know, to do to do a research, crime prevention. Right. Studies have shown mm-hmm. strong family relationships, and I'm I'm reading right off right off the studies. Here. Right. I like how he says that. Strong family. Relationships play a role in reducing a person's likelihood of committing a crime. Agreed. So, mom and dad are home with a structured household. 
teaching those kids, like you said, Alex earlier, yeah. values, respect. It's funny, y'all speak like the black man be in the house. No, but I, no, I'm tired of y'all speaking like that. The black man don't be in the house. He's not allowed to be there. He's either in jail. Like, 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 section like, eight. Like, let, let's let's listen. Let's let's call it what it is. Let's not let's not call it. Let's stop normal. Let, let's stop no, acting like it's normal to, to gotta, assume a black look, man's in the house. But you have to look at it's this not normal to assume like, that. Like, how many black men have? It's no five baby mamas though. But it's not right. different. And, and, but and, that's and, a problem. Even, even if why, that is, why even is if that, that is, that man would be able to take care of five children. No. Had he had why? Why not? Because he's not doing it. I, I, you tell read, me. Bobby, no, read, I, listen, read, I take care of no one of five children. Link, right? not to cut you yeah, off. No not resources. to cut you off. But right. Bobby, read the first thing you just said. And I'm gonna give you an answer to Studies what you Studies have shown strong family relationships play a role in reducing a person's likelihood of committing oh, crimes. Imagine. Now, if you if you could just have a strong black family, no, no, no. Have, it's bro. not about color. It's not right. color. It's a we, strong This is the thing that we get caught up in. Family right. is, has nothing to do with blood. It does not pertain to that. In the bail bonds industry, somebody like me or Roy Story Man. Bro, I'm not trying but, to hear but, fantasy but living. Listen, I live in a room. I come from wine dance, bro. So where we walk into 90% of the homes, there's no dad, bro. And I come from Central 90% of the homes, there's no dad. Alcoholism, alcoholism, alcoholism look, 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 with the look, look Spanish look family yeah. and everything. Why y'all pretending for? Like, what are we pretending? But you got to listen to what's being said. All the listeners on the radio, I'm not willing to pretend like these guys. Listen, black dudes are not in the house in wine dance. Let me talk. Look at what Denzel Washington said. Where was his dad? Right. So what's going on in these homes? It can't be white generation. people keep locking black people up. What black you mean? People, maybe yeah. black people keep committing crimes. I yeah, because everything that they do, they make it a crime so that they can keep nah, the, the, the keep nah, perpetuating the nah, same nah, cycle. Look, I want to say this now because yeah, come on. Cause I'm, because I'm in I'm in the courts, right. so I see, and I don't care what color you are. Bail is set by the crime you commit. Correct. It doesn't matter about color. If you're I talking can't, about up, now, up, that's cool. Up. But we're talking about where this guy's but, dad was at. We're talking twenty years ago. Hold up. Yeah. You, you got to realize something in the bail industry. So fake. In, in the, the bail system. industry, when so it comes, fake. but when it comes to me and Roy, you got to understand that people respect us. It's not about being family. It's about relationships. You're speaking that you politically. Build. You're not speaking. It's factually, not speaking politically. Bro. Speak factually. It's not right speaking now. politically. Like, speak think, about facts. Think, like, think about it. Right. Think about it. When mm-hmm. it comes to somebody coming into the office that want to do a bail bond, they're going to do I'm not right. Asking about oh, bail bonds, but bro. that's what. But that's what like, the topic like, was. What's going on in these households? What, what's the problem? Because we have thrown billions and billions of dollars into minority communities. Nothing's changing. You threw the same money back. Y'all took out of. It. You got to think about it. Like, like, tell me how slavery ends. If you go to jail and they still get paid off your body, but they ain't giving you no benefit for being there. But you don't get to learn that. nothing. Well, Hold on. No, you don't get to learn anything when you're in jail. You still leave jail the same way you came in. They call it correctional, they but have, nothing corrective is they offered. They have programs they in jail. They have programs. They in jail? Yes. Yeah, they have a lot of programs. Bro, I've been to jail. What are y'all talking about? There's like, people they, that they, have, give you, they give you programs that they don't complete. When you Link, get home, you're not certified to do nothing. I, got, uh, Link, I know people have gotten their law degrees while in jail. I know, I know people who, who started but could not finish their law degree until they came home I because they don't let you finish nothing they in They can't take the bars until they come home. But I know, right there's, right there's, no, there's nobody that ever took a program in jail that completed one because you already. cannot complete a jail program. They I, will I not let you. That. I, I've people, been there. I've I been got there. people that's been home there. right now from jail that's actually got better jobs than people that's already Correct. out here. I'm home from jail, and thanks to Bob, I got a great job. I got a great opportunity here, but that has nothing to do with the majority of the people. We're talking about me. We're talking about me, and you're I, talking about one guy. I'm talking about the There's hundreds of millions of people. There's millions of people. Like we talked about. But what do they? But what do they want to do? A lot of people. A lot of people I realize complain a lot, but they don't want to put the effort or work. At some point in time, Alex, they Roy, Lake, at some point in time, you got to take a hard look in the mirror and say, "What am I doing with my life?" You got to stop blaming the right. government, blaming but, society. I, I, everybody I know I'm out, I'm out. I, was, I was out there right. and and I'm not, I'm not out there anymore so it's, it's, you, it's so at some point it is an excuse because I was out there hard and I'm not I'm not no right. way out there I'm not I'm saying everybody can be changed right I'm trying to say that we can't treat everybody the same everybody when we don't know want to change that's a difference everybody okay. doesn't want to okay. change but every, everybody every, opportunity ain't like, the same as opportunities of the people you talking make, about everyone in this room though. everyone in this but room. you make the opportunities for yourself it's yeah, hard though It's yeah, hard You can't it's, just it's, say it's, that either It's not hard It's not hard Opportunities don't just come like that it's, it's, not so how much, it's how much it's work so you want to put in. Everybody in this room has been in the system in one fashion or another and could have used an excuse to why they couldn't be here today. Listen, Every one of us. I'm here right now and I have no excuses. I'm sitting here telling you the facts. You put, in the, you put in the work. You put in the work. You right. educate yourself. You, you but got yourself I, I to have this to be point. given opportunity. Why y'all not? You're going to skip that. We're just going to skip it. But get guys out but, there that's listening, opportunity no longer means anything. We get to no. skip it. You educated yourself. You got to have your health. In order to, to have, give you an opportunity. You got to have your eyes. opportunity with no education. who you know. It goes it, it do. A, a lot of it is who you know. You right? gotta have your eyes open to the opportunity and be willing to accept it. Let me say this. If I didn't know you, how how am I on the radio right now? I'm not. 
If yeah. I don't know you, I'm not on the radio. You don't so know it that is though. these opportunities. Maybe, maybe, and maybe, maybe, maybe by some other chance you know that would happen. Absolutely. Absolutely. But you let, your, you let your you guard down to get to know me, to get into that relationship, what, what right? Yes. I mean, once yes. someone to get into what you, you was the best thing I've ever done. I just want to say one thing real quick. The company I work for, I was at the bottom. Affordable bail bonds. And without my mentor teaching me what I know, and if I didn't bust my tail to get to where I needed to get to, right. then the opportunity would never present itself. And that's all I'm saying. Right. You know, and that's we, all I'm we, saying. We, we can't but it's still but the opportunity, we, but, but we gotta yeah, realize we gotta it realize down to the opportunity. But, but we gotta realize us being minorities and the people listening being minorities, we can't keep pointing the finger as if it's gonna just make make a present appear in front of us and say, oh, here's a gift. Here's an opportunity. But you know what else we I'm got, not willing to do? Strive, I'm not willing to act like it. slavery don't still exist. I'm not still willing to act like yeah. America's not yeah. getting paid off black bodies and not giving them nothing, not giving them families anything. So that is slavery, bro. Anytime you can take a black body, I'm, please let me finish. Anytime you can take a black body, throw it in a cage, and everybody benefit except that man and his family from that black body being in that cage, that is slavery. Do you understand me? Because that black man ain't being nothing. He's now, not being wait, now, listen, Hold up, Bob, real quick. Now listen to this real quick. You spoke about the Jews. You spoke about the Arabs. Everybody keeps it in their community. The black people are the only people that sit here and support everybody else. But, their, but own their own community. Yeah. So what are we talking? Well, since you want to go we're, like we're, that. We're our own enemies because yeah, we're right. the same ones killing each other. We're the same ones there doing dirt to each other and everything. Well, if you, you take the opportunity work, and only leave enough. No. Nah. Well, Bro, you, you can't, can't say no. You, you crazy. Bro, you crazy. We from Central Asia, right? Right, bro. That they right, do right, their own okay. dirt to people, each other. People listening to you right Hold now. Hold on one second. I'm the host. Blaming them for the I'm condition the that's set on them, Let me take control. Link, you want to blame everybody but the person's responsibility for themselves. Nah, I just want to keep it honest. I want to keep the conversation honest and real. We... I want to keep it honest and real. We talked about this so many times. Right. It all goes back to politics. That's where the money comes from. Democrats have pumped billions into the minority community and got that voting block voting 90-something percent every time. Now, now when they've exhausted that because now they're starting to switch over, what do they want to do? They want to let in all the other countries come flooding across this Seven United States people. And, and set up a whole, no, whole other voting right. block while they're ignoring the minority community. Right. They You've been promising these people for 50 years you're going to make changes and nothing's happened. And I agree solely with what you're but saying. Let, I let think, the community so, stand up and start taking a word for themselves. Who runs to, if you run to the polls... If you Why run, are we letting in... The when money goes to the same people. Why are we letting in millions of people a year and giving yeah. them an opportunity when our own people here, our own citizens here are not veteran, getting that opportunity? Veterans and everything. Right, that's true. Why? But it's because our own citizens that, that's here not getting the opportunity because we being used for something else. Why are we, we being used? To, we being used. Nick, all right, we generate money. Just yeah. from sitting in a cage. We generate millions of trillions of dollars yeah, sitting right. in a cage, right? You cannot tell me that a country that's built on this financially and still continuing to do this. Doesn't have an obligation to the people it's doing it to, bro. The question, you have an obligation. Nick, let, me, let me tell you, why are we paying five, six hundred dollars a night to put illegal immigrants in hotels in New York City when right. we have we have some of our own citizens, homeless. our own U.S. citizens, Politics. homeless, not eating, right. living on the streets of the dance yes, right. 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 Why are we doing that? Already. Right. It's not for us to win. Yeah. It's for the rich to get rich, the poor. It's to class poor. warfare, and they want to now get this new class coming in here and. We're right. going to do this, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. You forgot about all these people. You forgot about the minorities here. You promised for the last 50 years, we're going to help you. Right. We're going to educate you. We're going right. to get you out of the hood. We're going to do this. We're going to make your lives better. You didn't do it. And, and guess, now what? You're selling guess the what? Now you're selling the dream to a whole other voting block. And, and now black exactly. people. BS. And black people. Right. This, 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 this is my course. message to black people. Y'all still voting in the 90 percentile for Democrats. Wake up. Stop being stupid. Like, if, if, if they haven't helped you up until now and nothing has changed in your environment or uh, it, your conditions haven't changed, then believe me, you're voting wrong. Stop just voting because somebody's a Democrat. How, You're not born a Democrat. Link, Don't think that. How Link. much are we paying to educate illegal immigrants when our own kids are failing out of school and not getting the education they need? Too not much. The help they need Way too anything, much. You know? Yeah. Way so too much. The only way this is going to change, if you start getting involved, these communities need to start getting involved right. on a political level. Right. Stop listening to the BS that's being sold Because to them. we need the parents. We you need know, the parents. Like, what, and and. One thing I got to touch on, and, and yeah. some people may not agree with it, but one thing I agree with Trump is that he wanted to bring jobs back to America. Right. My child was, a, yes, sir. My so, child, yes, sir, my child was born in America. What is so wrong with America? I want yes, my sir. child to have every opportunity what that they can What is so wrong America. with America first? You're American. Everyone is Nothing's American. Nothing's wrong with that. What's wrong with that? The media. The media don't like it because they can use that to exploit him to make it seem like, oh, he's some type of nationalist or white nationalist. Listen, when, meanwhile, I want, I'm going to take care of my house before I take care of anybody else's house. Yeah, absolutely but right. why right? can't we take care of Americans before we take care of other people? That's what we're supposed to do. But we're not That's doing it. We're not doing That's it. That's crazy. You got That's homelessness crazy. a mile from this station right here. You got homelessness. People are going to sleep in the cold tonight. But why? And yet we're paying five, six, seven hundred dollars a night to put illegals up in hotels in New York City. Right. People who protected this country... 
no health care, anything. Yeah. Living and, living in the cold, having to figure out how to eat and everything. And the government don't care about them. You know, the only thing sure. our politicians do is sell us a BS dream to get the vote. That's yeah. it. And that, sleep, that is and once they get the vote, they come back out another two years. And, and then they sleep for having change. a conversation. Nick, they, let me put this out here. Yeah. Al Sharpton makes yeah. millions of dollars a year. He's on radio shows. Right. How, how often do you see him back into these neighborhoods trying to help unless there's a public event where somebody gets killed? How right. often? That's it. You if don't it's see not, him. If it's not a photo op for him, he's not he coming. Not. Exactly. He's not coming. That's the work needs to be put for. in. They're not doing the work. They're getting the yeah, publicity right. for it. Same we, thing happened in the communities. Like like you saying, a lot of money is being shipped into these communities. You're not wrong, right? And I'm not overlooking that and I'm not willing to... Because to, all this is just keeping people quiet. Here, here, here. And that's, that's all it's doing. Normal, and, and, but it's going to the same people who are doing the same exact things. Like this money is not being sent to the places where it can be effective. It's sent to the places where it's just used to going. Right, and so the problem doesn't change; it just continues. But you know what? How, yeah. how many millions and billions in dollars are made for minority scholarships that the kids aren't even aware of because they don't know how to apply for them? Right, right. So nobody teaches. That's why, that's why nobody we teaches. need no more and programs is, to structure the kids. To we know need to start. That. We need to start. Honestly, I have a big problem with illegal immigration because we're taking care of these other people before we're taking care of our own. Right. There are a lot of people in this country that are suffering. Yeah. That need the help, and we're we're having these people dreading across the border. And I understand your political political asylum. I get that. Yeah, ninety nine percent of these people that are coming here are not, not coming political for political asylum. asylum. No, they're, they're coming not. because they want they're a better not. life, and it's available yeah. in America because we're giving it to them out of our pockets. Right, education right. and everything a- educa- and you- for free and medical care. Yeah. anyone in this room gets goes to the hospital. You have no medical insurance. You're gonna sit there and wait. Illegal mm-hmm. immigrant gets hurt. He's uh, getting free medical and, care. And, with and, him. And, and, yeah. and immigrants no, come from many. I, I know. Link, I know. Don't you want to stay in a six hundred nine hotel in New York City? I would love to stay there. I would love to stay in one of those great, great hotels. Yeah, cool. The story stays in the plaza, anyways. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's, there, there are problems in this country that have to start getting addressed. Bail reform is only one of them. I mean, I, listen, yeah. bail reform sucks. Bail, well, the whole bail system sucks. It sucks. This sucks. Bail, like, bail is not really set to whether a person's no. going to come back to court or not. No. It's really set. What they should have did was... Set up bail, bail, detention. Listen, bail right. reform even, right. hurt, even hurt attorneys as well. You got these attorneys that mm. go to school for all this time, yeah. build a, a report that they have and relationships, and it's like you're taken out of their mouth too because they went to school for this. Yeah. They went to school it's to... their career. To, I'd rather have representation that I pay for than the government giving me because the government the minute they give you is the minute they take it away I don't want nothing from the government listen, listen <laughs> ladies and like, gentlemen out there you yeah. gotta listen to this if the government's giving you a lawyer there's a problem with it anything <laughs> that you come from the government has it ever been good Right. No, you, like, right. As the government gives you that it's sandwich, just like, it's just like that government gives you that sandwich in lockup. Is it any good? No, nah, nah, So nah. they're gonna give you. If they're gonna give you that legal aid in the lockup. Is it any good? Nah, legal aid never was good. <laughs> I think I never did nothing with a legal aid except curse them out. I think they was just like practice on. Like, you know, and don't, and don't get me, and don't get me wrong. On. That's not that's not to down the legal aids because they yeah. also go to school. But for me, anything that's given by the government could be taken away in a heartbeat. Health care, yeah. anything. There, there's, an old, yeah. there's an old quote I see from Ronald Reagan. You know, government can't fix the problem because government is the problem. Right. You know, right. 100% right. I agree. We're, we're a self-governing legal, country. That's why this was formed. We need to start taking control. The politicians that are down in Washington, D.C. and Albany are out of whack. There's something wrong. They are right. there for self-preservation, their own jobs. Everyone comes into there and leaves a multimillionaire. Right. Why? Yeah. There's a problem with that. Yeah. You got to think, too. We used to resolve our own things. Now we can't. We can't resolve something that's the same thing, but on a, on a smaller level. We got. We, 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 we only got a short time left. But yeah. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. You go back and look at the history of Joe Biden. Right. Look at his speeches. Look at he was the, one of the authors of the crime bill back in eighty four. Yeah. No. Okay. Ninety four crime bill. Do you really think he cares what's going on in the minority neighborhoods? He no, just I shot down the crime bill. Or is it just BS for him to satisfy a voting block? That's yeah. it. That's he it. just wants to satisfy it's the it's people that support him. Mm-hmm. That's it. Do you think and any of these politicians that are running this this cycle up here and Alulia really care wholeheartedly what's going on in the households in Wine Edge, or they want window dressing along straight path to make a nice you know building here, put a stop and shop there? Not at all. They don't That's care. It. You got to get into the heart of these households. What's going on in these families? What do we do to fix these kids so they don't end up in the system? Period. Whether it's CPS, family court, criminal court, right? To stop this. That's what you need to do. What do these families need to help to stop these kids from even getting into the system? Yeah, but see, when it comes to Democrats and all that type of stuff, they already have their people set up for that. We Link, can never I mean, get nobody. Roy, it's self-preservation. They want their jobs. They're going to sell you the BS to vote for them to keep themselves in office. That's their job. And, and black people, we don't stop make, getting I don't make my money off politics. Stop I make getting my money by the word by helping people. This is street legal. We are here every Tuesday night, 103.9 LI News Radio. Hope we didn't Portable get a little too bills. excited tonight. Uh, 631 582 
This is B.O.B. And remember, you want to get free or stay free, you got to call B.O.B. And P.T.G. Thank you for having us on the show, Bobby. Peace out. Thanks for joining us.